hey everyone welcome to my channel tech and art hope you guys doing good today i'm going to discuss about one of the scenario for sql server always on so scenario is like that you need to create a, a user on a secondary replica which is readable so it's like you have a two node uh, setup of always on node one and node two okay node one is your primary replica and node two is your secondary replica okay so secondary replica node two is a readable okay your database is in a readable so now you have a scenario you need to create a user on a secondary replica not on a primary replica and because that user need to read some data in a database that's the reason it's required uh, to create a user on a secondary replica but your database is in a readable mode okay so how to do that okay they have some restriction you cannot create a re, uh, user on a you know primary replica it's like uh, the particular user only have access on a secondary replica so i will i will uh, i will solve this issue in this session how to do that before starting the session uh, whoever newly joined on my channel please like to subscribe and don't forget to share please visit the channel playlist sql server db let me start so we will understand based on this uh, booklet okay so the ask is how to create a database user on a secondary node if db is in a read only mode okay as i told you i have a two node setup uh, always on node 1 which is primary node 2 which is secondary in read only mode so here i need to create a user on a secondary node node 2 so how to do that so solution is very simple little bit tricky you need to just focus couple of things how to do that actually okay so let me so solution is create a, this line will give you the exact solution create a new login on the primary node replica then create a new user for the login and then provide the db data reader access to the particular logins okay so basically you can create a new login on a primary replica and then grant map the database you know uh, with the database reader access okay so how to do that for that you can use you know so after this creation uh, once you create a new login with along with everything password and all and then grant the access on a particular database with the access privilege of database reader and then you can use the rev login okay so create a sp help uh, sp underscore help rev logins on the primary node by using the microsoft Press script uh, you can get it a script i have created a video also for rev logging you can take it from there itself and which is helping to transfer the login from the primary to rep, uh, to secondary okay server so basically we can use that rev logging script here to solve this issue okay so what happened actually when you, you are creating uh, executing the rev login script it is creating the two stored procedure sp hexadecimal and sp help rev login so here we will call the sp help log logins it will give you the exact login details which you have created newly on a primary replica create login let's say login 02 with the password okay which is in hexadecimal okay so take this script and go to the secondary replica and execute it this script okay open your management studio wizard query and then you can execute this script right away on a secondary command will be successful then it will give you the you know uh, the logins on a secondary now you have to match the sid whether the the primary sid and secondary is matched or not if it is matched your problem is solved so you can take the help of sys login tables to fetch the sid so this is the primary sid for the login 02 so this SID is this uh, this and below a screenshot is the on a secondary so here the SID is matching on a primary and secondary for the login 02 so your problem is solved now your ask was you know how to uh, you need to only create a user on a secondary not required here so through this way only you can create a user on a secondary because you cannot directly go and create on a secondary your database in read only mode oh okay it will not allow if you go and create a login on a secondary it will not allow so only way is you can create a login on a primary take the help of rev logins 
and create on a secondary check the SID whether the SID on a primary and secondary is matched or not so now the query is that user should not have access on a primary so you can go right away and delete that user from the primary okay so that particular user successfully now able to access able to read the data on a secondary okay so through this way you can achieve this goal this is quite tricky and lot of interviews uh, you know uh, for the always on perspective they are asking this type of questions how to create a you know user on a secondary replica while your uh, secondary is only read only mode so hope you got my point how to create and how to solve this issue we'll meet you soon i don't have set up as of now otherwise i can show you the live demo also but exactly you will follow these steps successfully 100% you can achieve this goal bye thank you till then we'll meet you soon